So in the end, I just want to bring the quotation of our Guru. He says, by mistake, people mostly think about what will I lose on this path? And they don't think, what will I gain? So I just want to say that what you will gain on this path of your heart, much, much, way more beautiful and great than what you will lose. So go for that. So just to, to summarize, you, you are, you were already an artist, quite famous in Russia, having strived for everything which everybody, society tells us we should yes. go for. You have achieved everything, basically what you wanted or lots of it. You mm -hmm. have gotten fame, you have gotten a good life financially, materially, but there you found a lot of emptiness and not fulfillment yeah. and that made you seek something more and you had always interest in the eastern yes. philosophies and so on nobody took you serious about it <laughs> but uh, yeah, there was true. this seeking and then you met this friend of you which told you that she has a guru and so on you met Paramahamsa Vishwananda and you felt suddenly dead which you were actually looking for, this yeah. love which you felt inside of you. Yes. Is that right so far? Yeah. And from there then, before a seeking of even more power, mystical things, but then again feeling it's all about love, it's yes. not about power, it's not about prestige and yeah. fame, but it's all about love, that's the only thing which fulfills us. And then you finally took shelter at your teacher's feet and asked him if he will guide you, which he has done a whole life or lifetimes already. Yes, yes. So um, that's actually a question where now comes, as you come from Russia, Orthodox, Muslim family, very strict about uh, oh, yes. worshiping anything else, how was it in general? I think that's where what you maybe wanted to, to address now, the, the, mm -hmm. the challenges which come along when you go on a spiritual path, when you meet your guru, when you start to change your life. Please, maybe can you share a little bit about that? <laughs> yes, as you said, uh, R Orthodox Russia, uh, the system itself is not very open for anything else. Okay, there are how many, four or five um, official religions in Russia, Orthodox, Islam, uh, Judaism and Buddhism, four. Mm. Four official religions and they are so close to anything new. Mm -hmm. For example, Hinduism, even though we have a beautiful relationship between Russia and India, no, even though India has a, has a, um, a church, Orthodox church, and they are so open. Absolutely. India is the, the yeah, most the open, and to, Dharma yeah, the most open. they are so tolerant to, to yeah. anybody. And Russia, no. And uh, imagine now is mm, easier, and how can I say, uh, people are more open. But nine, ten, ten years ago, it was really strict, and uh, especially Islam, Islamic culture. And my father was really. Uh, strict with me and he was um, he was suffering actually and he still you told them that you are that you're no, following no 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 I was I wasn't so brave no 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 I was doing it just you know quietly without with you know without uh, showing it for few for the first few years I wasn't able to to show it I was even though I was singing mantras I had a small small concerts but at the same time I was um, working on my um, pop music project, uh, releasing songs and so on. And uh, even I, I had a quite hot uh, hits, you know. And I was thinking, okay, I can do the two uh, parts. parts together, like two, uh, two, 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 so different music. Uh, pop music. Yeah, ways. Music. Yeah, I can like follow that two paths together. Mm. I even asked one once, uh, Gurudev, uh, what should I do? Can I stop singing pop music and just dedicate myself to uh, spiritual music? 
that time I didn't call it Sati Esnika or ethnic music. Now in general I call it ethnic music, yet people will not mm, like... It's not, it's not too niche, yeah, it's like an open thing like... Exactly. So then Guruji said, give it time. Give it time. Mm -hmm. It will be. It will come automatically. Yeah. Naturally. And he said such a beautiful thing. He said, um, "The most important is not what you're singing, but the way how you're singing. Mm -hmm. If your heart is full of love, no matter what you sing, people will feel will will feel that, and that will be your serving to them, mm -hmm. service to them." I was like, "Wow, so beautiful." So I, mm -hmm. I had no question about that. But four years after automatically and naturally it happened by itself. I'm so happy and uh, I just decided to stop it because it didn't bring me uh, satisfaction, even money. I was like, mm. so what's the point <laughs> to do it? It doesn't even bring me money. So I stopped it and dedicate myself. Pop music. Yeah, pop music mm. and dedicate myself to the, to the uh, project which I called Sati Esnika. So that project, as uh, I I perceive in, in my meditations and just by by looking at that that it's it's not it not belonging to me or my musicians it belongs to my guru. Mm. As me my life everything I'm I'm doing belong to him and me as an his ambassador and <laughs> we all are ambassadors of him. So that 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 was the moment like wow this music and this project is something much bigger than me than all of us because it he is and I even asked him, he said, yes, you feel right. And I asked about the name, I asked about the logo, he confirmed everything and, and he, he's helping, he's, he's my, mm -hmm. he's not manager. just, yeah, he's more than manager, he's a, yeah, he's producer of my life, so. <laughs> and uh, what was difficult for my parents and what for, for me, most, yeah, the, the, the way that my parents are suffering, and little by little, my mom was seeing uh, what I'm posting in Instagram. I just started mm -hmm. little by yeah. little, drop yeah, by drop, drop by drop. And it's good actually, because mm -hmm. now looking back, I see that that was the best way. Mm -hmm. And my mom was like, why are you posting all those Indian things? You are in India in this strange uh, clothes. clothes, just you know, with this strange thing on your forehead. Why you do that things? You know, it is against our oh. culture. Mm -hmm. I said, mom, don't worry, I just respect it. I just like it, what can I do? I just like it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I can do, I, I, I can't stop it. And she was like starting to this, that. My father was trying to talk to me seriously about the um, rules of Islam, like there are five, the main, uh, you know, the how you call it? Uh, pillars. Yeah, pillars, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worship this. Don't do, do this. And I was like, oh, I was suffering also, and was feeling like ah. Oh. Every time I talked to my parents and especially father, I was feeling like oh, I'm doing some sinful things. Oh my God! <laughs> At the same time, but this is my path. This is what I believe. This, and and with my guru, I started to understand Islam even more than before. What mm. what did I know about Islam? Nothing, mm. because especially in Russia, you know. Uh, there are small uh, regions, you know, the, the parts of Russia, like Caucasus or uh, some other parts with uh, mostly Islamic people, yeah? But what they know about Islam? It's Russia, uh, it's not uh, Arabian countries, let's say, yeah? We, we, don't, we, we can't even read uh, the Quran. Mm -hmm. we, we, we can read some translators of Quran, which is okay, and uh, everybody is interpreting how they want and especially when that Wahhabism stuff, that, that extremism, let's call it, started, Islam started, it started to scare me. Mm -hmm. And I was quite young, like 15, 16 years when it started and pe young people became so aggressive. They were like asking me on the street, why you are not covering yourself? Why do you believe in Allah? And I was like, Infidel. really? Yes. And I was like, I was brave enough to say, that is not your business, go home. This is my life, this is my body, don't touch me. But at the same time, I was really scared that my God is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. And thank God, I, le I left my re small republic and moved to Moscow. In Moscow, it was a different, um, in Moscow, I could, I could do whatever I want. <laughs> and I became pop star and, and everything. And my Muslim, Muslim people were judging me always. 
-hmm. When I became pop star and wearing the sexy dresses uh, for all those magazines and sexy things, I went through all this crazy life. Judgment from Ju both sides. Yeah. Maybe now I would not do all those extreme things, but that time I was, that was important for me to go through that, to, 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 to prove myself that mm -hmm. I'm able, I'm brave, I'm sexy, I'm beautiful, I'm this, I'm that. And then I, it was like, okay, enough, now I'm, I'm done. And, um, and then when I beca started to sing mantras and cover myself and I mean... Uh, decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, they judge me, but because of what I, yeah, I sing mantras. Why you sing mantras, don't sing that, whatever, whatever, whatever. And um, after years of experiencing and people judgments, this, that, I've got some immunity, you know. Mm -hmm. I have a good immu immune system about mm -hmm. that now. Of course, it's still painful. Of course, it's still especially when I see my mom, my mom sometimes trying to make a scandal like you, mm. how could you? We trusted you so much. Disappoint us. Yes, this, this kind of dramatic things. It was killing me every time. But last... Guilty feeling. Yeah, oh my God, she's a professional for that. <laughs> I love my mom, but you know how they manipulate it. And I was feeling like, oh no, no, I'm so bad. And last time I said, you know what? Uh, there was a there was a funny story. Uh, when I was married, uh, the, the 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 process of marriage was quite long. We had four weddings. So <laughs> before the Italian one, uh, my parents had to come to my to my apartment to my place in Moscow. My father didn't visit me like for five or more years, mm. and mom even told me, you know what he said. Before you remove all these pictures of all this Hindu stuff, he will not come to your place. I said, okay, I will come to your place so we can see each other anyway. So I was having fun, you know, to put it into funny ways, the only, in only way to stop it. Mm -hmm. So, and they were about to come to my place before go, going all together to Italy. And I was thinking, okay, so my, my dad is going to come and my heart was beating. I have to remove all those pictures and deities um, and hide them. And I was about to do that. Two hours before they, they arrived, I was at home preparing and everything. And I took, there was a big and beautiful picture of Gurudev in my um, living room when we're going to have a dinner. <laughs> I took that picture to remove it. And I was, and I just started loudly talk to Guruji, like, Guruji, um, am I 35? There was, yeah, I was 35. 35 year, years old woman. I'm big enough, no? Mm -hmm. So my parents are coming now. Why should I remove you or other pictures? This is my life. Mm -hmm. This is my house. This is my path. Mm -hmm. Why should I hide? Why should I remove? Mm -hmm. Why did, why don't, they respect me. I respect them, but they also have to respect me. Mm -hmm. You can't imagine how much love and joy I felt. Mm -hmm. And my guru gave me, you know, such a feeling inside. I started to cry just like he, he told me like, yes, finally, keep me, put me back. <laughs> <laughs> so I put the picture back. I said, okay, I'll go for that to the very end. And my heart was beating like, oh my God. Let's do, let's do it. So they, they arrived. My father started to walk around, you know, with a, with a you know. Stone face. Yeah, yeah, he was red in color. <laughs> <laughs> and I was constantly talking, 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 just to. to I was <laughs> not give the chance to complain for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> laughing, talking, some stupid, stupid things. And finally, when we, we sat for, for the dinner, uh, on the table, my father was eating in, a, you know, dark silence, <laughs> and <clears throat> he said, "Don't you think, my daughter, it is too much?" I said, "What?" He said, "All these pictures, statues, and everything around." I said, "But I like it." <laughs> he said, "What if somebody will come and they will think that you're crazy and cuckoo?" I said, "Oh." Those who come to my place, they are even more cuckoo than me. 
<laughs> he was like, mm. he stopped to argue completely. You know, the this argument was broken. Yes, right? because it was so cute and childy. Because it was true, actually. And they survived. Mm -hmm. Because we went, then we went to Italy, in Italy. My husband's uh, parents' place was even worse. I mean, even more pictures. And there was a big, big room when Cristiano, my brother-in-law, he, he brought us to play some beautiful music. And that room was actually, there was an altar, not a, not a room, but it was a big altar <laughs> with all kinds of pictures. And my father finally gave up. He just, I saw that he, he did this. <laughs> and then he did this. <sighs> Surrender. Yeah. <laughs> that was, um, yeah, we won that, that fight. fight. And since then, it's since since then, no, he he doesn't he doesn't fight with me. He doesn't uh, try to. He, he's not trying to, you know. Change you, convert you. Yeah, yeah. You put me back on back on the on the right path. You know all, all those things. I believe. I know that he's praying to Allah, save me from my guru and from Narayana, <laughs> which is the same. <laughs> that is really really sweet, and. Uh, I, I love them. And once I even asked my guru, will they come to your lotus feet one day? He said, do you really want that? I said, yeah. He said, one day I will grace them. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this life or other lives. I, I can just pray for them. I love them. I, I, I'm so grateful for everything they gave me. Because my father is, um, he's such a great bhakta actually mm -hmm. to God. So he, just, he, he, he just called Allah. Mm -hmm. I call Narayana, which is the, the same. The love for God is the love for God. Yeah, which is the same. And uh, seeing how much love he has for God, I, I'm so grateful to, to God that uh, he's my father. Mm -hmm. He is my, you know, he, he's my root. And, and he gave me that, that first understandings of, of, mm -hmm. of love to God. And it's not for nothing that you're a devotee, probably. Yes, yes, it, it's true, it's true. And he's bhakti in Islamic way and bhakti in Hindu way. And we love each other, that's it. Nice. Enough. There's many people out in the world who get on the spiritual path, mm -hmm. who change their life, who maybe become vegetarian, stop drinking, stop following just what society or others tell them, parents and whatever, or even find something like you where the guru. the guru awakened something inside of them and of course especially when you meet the guru and when you go deeper into yourself mm -hmm. the idea of you being in a sect and you being <laughs> crazy and you being this and like there's a lot of judgment which people which everybody gets because mm -hmm. the world is judgmental especially when you are different and you have experienced that in a big in a big way like you're even being known internationally or, or nationally at least in the media being accused and mm -hmm. judged and what could you give people as an advice how to become immune how to become strong inside of themselves mm. to to actually find their center and follow their path with more self-confidence oh that's a big question and uh for for example, me myself on the way is still on the on the path, and I know that uh, it's never enough. I mean, being being uh, in your faith, um, being confident, being brave, these things can be can have an, you know a different various le levels. yeah various levels yeah. So years ago, I didn't have what I have now, and I, I know that some years after. I'm going to be on another level. But so. how would you say, what is the path to that? Like, what, what is a continuous practice, what you do actually to, to get just, to a growing? Just do it. Mm -hmm. Just do it like in advertising. Yeah? <laughs> just really, just do it. You're really scared, just do it. You really don't have no confidence and you're afraid or complete in fear, just do it. You think it's horrible, just do it. It, it, really, it's better just do it just instead of sitting and thinking. This is the most stupid thing we people can do. Just sit and think and scare. What's the point? And it will not, because we can learn only by practicing, by, by you know, we do, by acting. We do and then we have the, okay, 
aha, uh -huh. there was, for example, fire. How we, uh, was, uh, when, uh, when we were kids, uh, we just put our hands, ah, it's hot, and next time we would not do it. So that was my experience. Uh, by hearing just nice stories, it will not work for me. Uh, it did not work for me and probably will not. Uh, some people are wise enough just to, <laughs> to learn by stories, but me, I want my experience, you know, my own experience. And that, that's why I'm, I'm, you know, I prefer to, to do it and then to, to, to see is it my, um, good or not good for me. So people will judge you because when you start to change, you become uncomfortable for them. They used to uh, perceive you uh, in one way and when you change, it's not, you know, they feel not well. So they will, they will judge, they will, st they will try to stop you, this, that. Not because if they are bad and you are all of, sudden, all of a sudden you became so good, so sane, so this, that. It's just the rule of, of life. It's just the, that, that, that how it works. And um, I have to say that some people will have to disappear from your life. Mm. Uh, some friends will become not friends. Mm. And some other true friends will come to your life. Mm -hmm. So don't be scared about that. Just the only thing you have to stand for, that is your path, your truth, and what is your heart calling for. Mm -hmm. That true. is the only important thing. Follow your heart. Yes, yes. Face your fears. Yes. Don't sit, think, and just do. get in your fears, but just do go for it, even if it's a mistake, even if you fall down like a baby, yeah. stand up again, <laughs> try again. Yes, yes. You learn to run, but mainly by connecting what you feel in your heart, what you, what is your truth, what you really want to live for. Yeah. That will give you the strength it, to exactly to overcome all judgments and influences from the outside. Exactly. So in the end, I just want to bring the quotation of our Guru. He says, by mistake, people mostly think about what will I lose on this path? And they don't think, what will I gain? So I just want to say that what you will gain on this path of your heart, much, much, way more beautiful and great than what you will lose. So go for that. Jai Gurudev Sati. Jai Gurudev Swamiji. My uh, pleasure. And listen to her advice. Don't follow your fears. Follow your heart. Follow love. Jai Gurudev. Jai Gurudev.